Hello YouTube, this is Christonian here and we are playing RimWorld. This is build point two five four and we are with Fort Defiance. Uh, as you can see we expanded and put a second kind of little temporary post out here. This is for any runaway uh, bandits. I'm going to let those guys haul that in. I'm going to start prioritizing some of these dead bodies. I don't think, yeah, he can't do anything, because he's one of our killing machines. I just want to, uh, Fisher, I think, is a killing machine also, yep. Yeah, I'm just trying to get rid of the dead bodies, so we don't, uh, have any problems. With people walking over a giant pile of dead bodies. So that's probably going to have to do for now. And let's just fill up this area here. Okay. Yeah, and Guild of Calm, uh, Bronze Dog posted, doesn't have any gun. We just have to equip him with a new gun. And where are you going? You're going there. Let's prioritize. Dead body. Dead body. Rivers. Uh, dead body. forbidden. That's it that I can reach at least. Okay, so that's gone. Let's try Anthony here. He's about to walk in. There we go. I think that's the last body. Now it's just a giant pile of guns. <laughs> that need to be taken care of soon. Uh, mental breaks, but I think it's just because of all those bodies. It just magnifies like crazy. Uh, Punishment towards uh, your mental status, your mental break, I guess you could call it. Uh, I'm going to also just dig around here so we can maintain this wall. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, and I also want to shut these guys off. Our two new recruits here so we can get them doing other stuff. Uh, our food is coming back from zero. We're already up to 500. Go mine. There we go. Like that. And we'll put a door over here. Just to secure it all up. Make sure we're not exposed at any situation. Still got a ton of guns out there. We cleaned up. Uh structure. Door. Thank you. Let's be. Look at the guns. There was a firefight. That wasn't even the big one. This was a different raid. There we go. It's under there. I had it there for a second. M24. I forbid, and we're good to go. Okay. Clean up our map, so we do have a little bit of food on there still. Unforbid all the food. And they can get out there and haul that in. We're still cleaning like crazy. Also, I want to expand our um, prison. Let's, uh, that so that'll be wall and then two squares will come in which will be three for these beds uh, I'm gonna sell all that and I gotta actually connect it so I'm gonna sell there and sell there 
people are still going over there to eat Ron's dog here. Crazy, man. Mm, I guess they have enough work. They haven't started going out and collecting. Like, I just made a random mine. In the middle of nowhere, the front of our place is cleaned up. No more guns, no more, uh, bodies. Okay. So for here, I want structure, walls, box show. Them go crazy. And then I want to sell all that. Red carpet. All that. Also, someone posts that uh, we should put carpet in bedrooms, so I'll probably do that next also. I do beds. Uh, Q and E to rotate. I'm gonna go like that, so. Uh, not right up against the wall. Ah, who cares. I was worried about it right up against the wall, but that should be good. Like that. And that's it. And to spice up the place, we'll go like this. And we have entered Eclipse. Uh, also down here we want to go blue, go like so, and furniture, let's do our lamps first, like so, okay, and we need to connect it, we're having power issues for the other side. And back to furniture. I'm going to unpause it so some of the stuff actually gets done. Just lining up the lamps. So everything is at least somewhat matchy matchy. Okay, this is done. Uh, holding shift, you include just the ones in this room to switch back over to prisoner. There you go, got a little bit nicer location for our prisoners. They're not standing on top of each other. And they'll soon have plants. And it look pretty. And let's do some beds. beds. Uh, Q to rotate. Or Q or E. T U. And pop the plants. If I go like this, oh, maybe because it's mixed already, I was gonna switch it up so everybody kind of spreads out their rooms a little bit. And we can still do it. We can go like this shift F, and then if you double click, you get all of them. We make them forbidden. Ha! Huh. We didn't get a warning that time for uh, beds. Let's unforbid. And then I just want the. See, when I double click, it doesn't matter. So that's why I have to do that shift click. I only select these few and then forbid. Now we should have people sleeping. Yeah, see, they're using all the space looks like a more natural use of space. Uh, what else do we need to do? Still need to haul this stuff out here. What? Well, I unforbid that stuff. Let's see. So we're in Eclipse and a trade ship has come. Combat. That's good. Send him over because I believe he has a decent social. Okay, skill level 2, not decent. <laughs> Let's buy some uh, metal from them. 
And they got some pistols and a launcher. Not interested in both. $6,000 though, so they'll be able to buy a decent amount of weapons. Let's just try to get everything small that's in the way. All the Lee rifles, Uzis, cocktails, pistols, pump shotguns, pistols. There was uh, one poster that wanted me to keep some of the shotguns for close combat, but it should be fine. The way I look at it, if the closer they are, the less likely they're going to miss. So, uh, And $279, so it can't get much better than that. I guess we could uh, sell them some food. Yeah, I wish they maxed that out. Just like you know, when it maxes out food-wise, like how much we can buy from them, it should max out money-wise. We don't drag past it on mistake. Just making sure that wasn't a weapon underneath, it was just our uh, transponder thing. Okay, so everybody's out there hauling. Let's also uh, do some other... Over here we're gonna... Make some orders and uh, start on our strip mine here. This was a good uh, cleanup video, pretty much. Uh, the two colonists that are always idle are our two killing machines, Elson and Fisher here. I think Elson here is the bigger killer yet. 13 and 13. I want to give him 24. See if he can do some headshots. I don't think it factors in, but that's what he does. And then we have Fisher. He has 8 across the board, but I think some of our own guys are, are actually like that level or higher now. Like Bronze Dog is a pretty killing machine, I believe. What about Anthony Wood here? It's like shooting. So, pretty close. About Gildacom, our farmer. Five shooting, it's not bad. The guy that keeps dying. <laughs> uh, he's our meat guy. Meat shield. Okay. Well, that was a good uh, dig. Usually when they go out this distance, they uh, don't mine as much. I kind of. Disappointing, this long strip here, there was absolutely no metal behind it, so... When we dug through it, we dug through most of it, probably. Bronze Dog here, what's he at? Eight shooting, yep. So he's just as good as one of the killers now. Already out of metal in that vein. Oh, there's still some more here, so that's good. That is good. Ooh, it's expanding. I like it. Ooh, look at that. Eclipse is ending. Thank God. We are at day 93 almost. Ooh, look at this! Yes! Excellent. New area has re been revealed. This is what we needed. This right here is going to make this strip mine totally awesome. Because I can actually have all my power coming from that geyser over uh, over and above what I could get from solar outside that I might still do just as a backup. So, let's keep mining here and here, here and here, and we're probably going to have to mine this all out around it to make our building fit in there. Well, that's a nice surprise. Nice little bonus. Our food's up to 1200 now, so that's awesome. And raiders have jumped or er, landed nearby. So, I'm going to press uh, cancel on this, 
And I am going to forbid this. We don't get any random people running out there. And with that, we're going to call it an episode. So thanks for coming by, guys, and see you guys next time. Bye. And as always, please feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and share, guys. See you guys next time. Bye.